Happy TikTok Tuesday. Okay, you guys, welcome. Hey, I just like you to note my name is here, uh, Melody Gleason Art, with no numbers after it. Okay, just plain Melody Gleason Art. There is one floating around there with a zero that is not me. I'm not sure what I want to do today. This is what I've been working on. Um, absolutely loving this. I put that dark Midnight's Blackness. That's the unicorn spit. I am an affiliate. But I've also got this um, embossing powder on some of the texture that makes it nice and shiny and gold. So that's fun. My Fanwood Lighthouse, if you can see the very top, is wonky. And I'm not sure I want to fix it. <laughs> Sometimes I like wonky. Sometimes I like it's kind of that shabby chic sea stuff. But um, this wing is bothering me. So that's when I know I do need to fix it. <laughs> Storybook. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jay. Welcome, guys. All right. So let me see what we can do with a little bit of that. This is unsealed. So it's water activated. So I can reactivate what I've got just by, I'm looking for my brushes. <laughs> just by dampening the end of my brush. The thing is you wanna be, I wanna be real incremental in tiny, tiny ways when I'm doing something like this. Because uh, just a tiny adjustment can make a huge difference. Now, if I lose it, <laughs> the image that I'm working on, it doesn't come to fruition. That's okay. You can always just veer off. I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> I'm going to scrape this back. Since it's famo wood, I don't want to fight with it. So I'm scraping it back. And then after that, I'm going to start with an affirmation card. I woke up late this morning and do you know how that feels? <laughs> Awful. <laughs> so, you know, you kind of feel behind the whole time. Okay, so at least I pushed that little globby spot right out of the way. I'm happy now. I'm satisfied. <laughs> So when I go ahead to do my shadowing and things like that, uh, thanks for the like and the love, guys. Appreciate you, Brad Speck. Uh, then it should be easier to deal with. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. This was just Midnight's Blackness, and it's in here. There's no alcohol or anything like that. And it's uber concentrated, so... I'm gonna to check to make sure that it's coming out properly, and it is. I don't wanna just blast it. And I'm just gonna take whatever is on that tip and just touch right where that black is right there. Now, I'm not kidding, guys. This is so concentrated. All right, so that was it. I just touched what was left on the tip. All right, and you know what I think? I want some purple, um, and I don't think I want it shiny over here because I don't want to fight, you know, with this beautiful gold that's happening. So I want to leave it to its own glory. <laughs> but so I'm gonna get this uh, plain purple. This is my brother, Ed Williams. All of these songs he writes and performs. Thank you, Ed. All right, so I've got my purple. I like shadowing with color. So instead of just black, add a little color to it just for the fun of it. When you look at it, this, this whitening that I covered up the lighthouse family wood with. It's not sealed, so it's going to start absorbing whatever's I got on my brush. 
I can go over this again if it totally fails. So I'm not too worried about it. But I'd rather not have to do that. So I'm coming up underneath on the back side, trying to make it look like kind of it's rounded. I'm going to add some of that same that's on my brush down below it for shadow. So the shadow is actually the same colors. Now I'm just pushing it right into that family. My brush is so dry and that's okay. I just want to rub it around on there. It's totally different than painting with acrylics, you know. Um, you don't need anything. You're staining is what you're doing. You're staining your either you're staining canvas or wood or family wood. It's or, just it's uh, fun to stain things. <laughs> stain it all. Stain your walls. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Left in there. And this was uh, yesterday's. It's dry. I just put some water on it to get it reconstituted again which is fabulous, you don't have any waste like that. I'm a self-taught artist with the help of my mama. She was a beautiful artist herself, and we just played together. And I learned a lot from her. But we played in oils. So then I went to acrylic and pastels and all of that stuff. And then I found a unicorn spit, and I went to a screeching halt. <laughs> so I'm looking for my white <laughs> whitening. I do love the alcohol links and the unicorn spit combo. I also love these artistic vivations that you can put your 71% alcohol in. I use 91 sometimes, depending on what the look is that I'm going for when I'm working on wood. So just experiment with whatever products you use. I hope that you just set yourself free to have a blast and experiment and play and relax and discover. And I tell you, you're going to be discovering, if you've never done this type of free range painting before, you're going to be discovering a lot about yourself. So much more than what this is. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway. Thank you, hubby. I see the likes. <laughs> All right, so here's the white. Look, 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 look. Look how pretty that shading did. It really made it more of a lighthouse now. So I want to just keep working on that. I've got my white for the highlights, but I've also got that purple in there. So I'm thinking I'd like to pick up some of this Zia Teal. Um, that's this. And... Um, actually, I think this is that green stuff I, I mixed up a bunch of weird stuff. Let me put some zeatil on it. For real. I've got them in these little bottles. Alright. Welcome. Welcome, Vicki. April, hey. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're just playing in spit. Alright, so that's the Zia Teal, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'll start down here. Maybe there's a shadow down here, because it is a, a tall lighthouse. And then I want to bring it up a little bit. I think I'll put some at the top. I just follow my heart wherever it leads. It doesn't matter. I'm not going for, you know, perfection. This is art, not photography is how I feel. And I just let it lead me and it, it's just a blast. So I did some mad science and I mixed up some old Celine that I had, which was the Artistic Privation White. And I put some green and Zia Teal. And let's, I don't even know what. So it's nice and sea foam. I liked it. 
So I'm going to turn this around for now and start on this back side. This is a this is going to be a treasure box, by the way, in case you didn't know. <laughs> and so obviously this is the front. So I wanted to use that sun moon from the front, also making a reversible piece of art, basically, on the back. So that's mad science for the day. <laughs> and I'm starting with this purple and a little bit of this green. And I'm making myself some beach. More purple. And I'm just going to do streaks of it for right now so that those streaks will stay a little bit stronger on this wood. And then I'll take a wider brush. This is what we were working on yesterday. It was so fun. We are UV resining a fairy stick. Yep. <laughs> After we paint it. So grab some driftwood. It's a therapy stick is what it is. That's what it is. All right. So I've got my dark purple stripes. And, you know, they're, they're not really sharp lines this time. And I'm going to take a, maybe a fan brush. What do you think? Let's just run that into this mad science mixture. I just want to see. Just go like this. Did you see that? That's pretty. I'm going to run some of that same color down into the purple that I have. I'm holding it. It's going to get my finger. I love layers of unicorn spit. That's where the magic happens, if you've never tried it before. All right, I'm going to just let that sit there for a second and get nice and strong in those areas. Gosh, <gasps> gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I want waves. <laughs> All right, I'm going for the, let's see, it's this, Dionysus. She's, she is all over here, and this is also Dionysus. So that one we've been working on for a while, and this is hideous, so... We're going to have to fix that, guys. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put a ton right there. I'm going to get a good brush here. All right, and I want to get it damp. And then just wipe some of that wetness off. This is going to be the hinges. So I know that the focus is not going to be on the back. This is the back of a treasure box. So I'm not too worried about painting around here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I love surprises. And most of the time when you see a treasure box or something like that, it's painted on the outside or it's painted on just the top. So I like to have them painted all over the place. I mean all over the place. All right, that is beautiful. It's super, super dark. I'm gonna dampen that brush. I know I just went over all of that pretty that I put down, but no worries. I'm going up. I have a purple ocean over here and I'm liking it. I'm gonna I think I'm going to keep it. Or maybe it's sand. I don't know. Free range, free range. <laughs> That's my disclaimer. I'm going over everything. Until something strikes me. I'm just brushing that in really hard. All right, so I've got a beautiful dark, dark purple, 
And that's cool because now I can start lightening that area up. And I'm gonna go back to this weird green and just see what happens. My purple is still in my brush as well. So I wanna come back across it with that green and make where I wanna see the water now. I might dip a little bit into that Zia Teal. Yeah, I need to figure out where to put that affiliate stuff. I'm having such issues with that on all of my platforms. I don't know. Every time I go to research it, I don't comprehend what they're saying because I don't speak computer language. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just getting... Oh, I have a tech daddy. <laughs> Thank God. That's why I can do this. Him and Pixie, my granddaughter. <laughs> They're the only reasons that I'm able to <laughs> come to you today. <laughs> but I'm learning. You know, it's, it's a learning curve here. Let's put some white down. It's a slow curve. <laughs> this is the whitening. Everybody doing good out there today? Just want to just gently, lightly, ever so lightly, tap across that. Underneath, drag it, but just super, super light. Hope you can see that. That's very even, but you know what I'm saying? That's where we're going. I want to let it keep going. I want to brush this out, soften that down a little bit so it's not so obvious. And take that green again. Love this song. Darken that up. And that has become my water again, I guess. It fades right into the sky, apparently. <laughs> Free range painting. <laughs> Gotta love it. Dark blue with copper. Just enjoying this music. So a thin, thin flat brush. Thank you for sharing the live, Lou. Welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. I'm just gonna push it. Just giving my curl. Isn't that a beautiful song? I just love my brother. He writes the most beautiful music. And then he goes crazy on the guitar as well. <laughs> like this. Given that curve of the wave, I just want some action going on. I mean, goodness. That's maybe why I love the ocean so much. You can never know what to expect. Waves can go any direction at any time for any reason. <laughs> I 
And now right under that, I want to put, I mean not under it, over it, a stronger white line. Make sure it's coming out proper. Ooh, I want a big wave. Ed Williams on the guitar. Thanks, guys. Welcome, Grat. Aww. Welcome, guys. It's a quiet kind of live. <laughs> That's how it is in my spirit this morning, so we're just sticking with it. Alright, so... We're getting the water. It's a gradual, gradual <laughs> way to do it, I realize, but I do love this. Now, this Capricorn, in case you're not familiar with the Unicorn Spit and the Artistic Vivations, the Unicorn Spit is plain, unless you get the Sparkling Gel, which is more of a glaze with a whole bunch of sparkles. This. All right, so the Unicorn Spit is, you know, plain. The Artistic Vivations is the Metallics. They also have the Mystics, which... Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is one. Blakeaboo Peacock. And they're just the coolest things. This one's a blue with a copper luster. Sometimes the copper shows up. Sometimes it doesn't, depending on the lighting or what you're working on or whatever. It's magical. I think it's also discontinued. <laughs> this one, I'm, I'm hanging on to this one. But... Uh, check out the Mystics, um, and just what I do, what, what I suggest, um, if, because as artists, a lot of times we create more than we, um, get back, you know what I'm saying? Like, our funds deplete fast because of all of the art stuff that we're doing. <laughs> so what I recommend is you get some girlfriends, people. And you go in together, and you guys decide, you have a spit party, and you decide what you guys want, what colors you want of the things like this. And then you buy the little, from Amazon or wherever, alcohol ink bottles, and they come in lots of different sizes. I, this is the big one. And they come even this little tiny. Um, so you guys can decide, and you can have as much unicorn spit as you want and you all have the same color so it's really cool when someone discovers something with a combo color you know to share it and it's just more fun to share that way you don't have to just settle on one or two or three colors you know what I'm saying if you're like me it's like I ordered one color and it was Celine <laughs> and I cannot wait for it to get here I'll tell you what I, it was just a suggestion and I'm not trying to say order it from me. I'm just saying, if you're going to do it, do it like that. It's more fun. So I'm just pushing that white up a little bit more. I want more room to play. Um, I don't know. Let's see. This may be a little too green, but I want to, might as well show you. And you know, a lot of times she'll circle back around and bring things back. So, so you never know. <laughs> what you're gonna get. I love it. <laughs> okay, in case that's an epic fail on this, I'm gonna also go ahead and put some more Capricorn down. It may be just a little too green is why I say it might be an epic fail, but that, that's all. Oh, I never did do my card. Oh, thank you, Grat. You look beautiful too. <laughs> I know, you meant the art. <laughs> okay, there is my Capricorn. 
All right, so let's go ahead with that blinkaboo, blinkaboo. That's what it looks like right there. That may be perfect. I'm loading it up. Let's see. I want the darkest part right there. Can you see that? I'm going to push it up even farther than I thought. Apparently. Oh, it is greenish. Look how pretty. I'm just going to fade it off. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring that same color over here because you know I need that. Just hit and miss. I'm going to put some right back in here too just for fun. I mean, we're on the back of the box right here, the back of the treasure box, so why not? All right, uh, that could be clouds, that could be sea, could be anything, or nothing at all. But I do love it. All right, now let's add our white because it's too gorgeous. Incremental painting, <laughs> tiny, tiny bits, very thin. And so therapeutic. All right. Now this looks a little thick, I know. I'm not sure what I'm doing over here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So there you go. That's how it is in my brain. <laughs> Welcome. Ooh, fun. I think maybe, I think maybe I'll just pull it over. I do want to rock, don't I? a lot going on but so what it's the back of the box and my okay just let me point my floss <laughs> it's not a flaw flaw okay I can fix it but see how the sun or moon or whatever is also over on this side and so now all of my heaviness is over on this side right so um it's okay because look at this we put that purple rock in earlier that mountain so that is gonna help balance it later. This is a splash, it's a splash. Now I gotta give it a reason to splash. So let me get some um, Midnight's Blackness. And my reason is probably gonna be a rock or something. Or a couple rocks. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. <laughs> How are your fish doing? You got them all done. What are you starting on now? <sighs> they are gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to my Blakeaboo Peacock. And that's going to be on my brush when I tap into this Midnight's Blackness doll, let me tap into it on from the top and push that Midnight's Blackness farther down. I'm building a rock. Or something. Remember, we have a hinge here. So, I don't want to decorate anything there. <laughs> it's sad though if this one turns out to be the better side. I guess I could fill the holes and make it the front, but I think this is going to be pretty pretty when I get done detailing. 
I don't know. We'll see. Well, let me show you what I, I'm talking about when I say I go all over the place. Uh, oh, shoot. Maybe I can't. Oh, here it is. All right. I know, I got stripes and flowers. Look, it's all black and white. I can do that. <laughs> so here's what I'm talking about. This is, I'm still, yeah, you guys, I'm still not quite done. I thought I was, but that's the fairy grotto box. This is the unicorn spit and alcohol ink. And the stuff hanging off of it is epoxy sculpt, which is a... Um, resin, epoxy, you know, clay that you mix together. It's two parts. Super, super sturdy. You can put it outside. You can make jewelry out of it. So anyway, that's that. And then the inside, I went absolutely crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see. Can you see? It is angels. It's all resin, so it's hard to see with the... There you go. Yeah, it's a fairy grotto. And that is where they're born. Anyway. So... I just don't quit. I like to just keep going on stuff, even though I know a few times back it would have been actually a, a nicer looking treasure box. I kept going. <laughs> All right, back to my rock. Let's get some gold. Let's put some gold uh, gosling on top of my black and my Lake of Blue peacock. Now the golden gosling that is the stuff that is like super bling, but not much pigment. So it's a glaze. Think of it like that with sass, <laughs> but lots of bling. So I'm just gonna put some on my palette. Oh, my music's done. That means we gotta get close. I'm gonna have to read the affirmation card just before we finish. So I never did it. Oh, I kept saying I was going to. All right. So I just want to see if it's going to give me a cool look or not. If it doesn't, I can take it back off. I'm pushing it in. I'm just merging it. Now it's damp, so this purple is going to pick up too and blend in. vignette this baby. I like that. I'm going to take that same stuff and put it back over here. You see? That Blakeaboo really stepped up on this one. I want to go back to my purple a little bit. I know it looks super dark, but that's all right. Let me start my music. Hold on. Let's put some Zia Teal on top of that rock for a highlight. It doesn't want to play. So let's try this one instead. That's that Celine and <laughs> Zia Teal and Atlantis or whatever this, what's that green? Yeah, Atlantis, I put this one in there. So, all right, so I'm just gonna tap into that combo. Oh, look how pretty, I keep saying that. Oh, it really picked up the gold on this lighter purple area. Just cut my rock in half. I 
Maybe it's flowing around the rock. Yeah, it is. That's pretty. So, if so, let's put some up here too. You know how the, it always just kind of, the water just kind of pools in areas. I'm just going lightly over with that, whatever's on my brush. Just wanted to make it look kind of wet there. Oh, how pretty. Isn't that pretty? All right. I'm gonna put that color right here. Whatever that color is, this greenish, whatever. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I'm gonna end up with another fairy box if I do that. <laughs> Stop. I like the softness of this. That, not, not so much. Okay, this I will try and fix real fast. Not real fast. Dampen my brush. It's just too harsh. Now I'll put that green in there. <laughs> I knew I'd find a way to get it in there. I'm going to put that green right on the top of that line, that dark line that I have there. And now I just want to push it. And just soften it. As a matter of fact, I think I'll come up on the white. Yeah, that way the whole thing is more shadowed. Well, that doesn't make sense. Um, I've got the shadow going this way from the mountain, but my moon is over here. So actually, the shadow would be going this way from my mountain, if I cared. <laughs> so let me brighten this part up that I just ran across. Let me get some whitening. I don't want it all white, you know. I just want it brighter. And I also like that green that was going on. I'm gonna put that on my brush. And then I'll just push it into it. Yeah. This definitely does need work, but at least I softened that a little bit. And we got started on this part, and it was really beautiful, I think. Y'all did good. <laughs> I want to highlight this. It's killing me here. I need white or green or something. I need a highlight. It's not killing me. I take that back. All right. One more highlight, and then I'm out of here for sure, for reals. I want to see my rock. What good is it if I don't see my rock? Oh, water on the rock. Better. Let's do it. Beautiful music to paint with. That's fabulous. <laughs> Especially for this. Oh gosh, you guys. Now I, I wish this was the front. I just like what happened. Isn't that neat? All right, stop it. Let me put it some more back here. Water's messy. Be messy.
just giving the idea that there's more going on. I don't want it just to be the only single wave action. And I think I want some back here too, so it doesn't look so, I don't know. I don't know, right there. Gosh, I have not looked over, so sorry. Take as long as you want. Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I, I don't know why I feel like I have to hurry. It's not like, I don't know. I, I don't want to bore you all to death. I guess you can leave. <laughs> no one's held captive. <laughs> God. I'm glad you haven't. I'm glad you speak Melody. <laughs> it's like when I thought I was doing the subscription live the other day and then people were showing up that I know aren't subscribed. And so I was like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I made him feel unwelcome, but it was just the shock of, I didn't, I didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> but they loved me. They knew me. You were part of that group. <laughs> Thank you, Grat. I just put some green in there just for fun. I want to darken up this water that's right behind this wave. But I don't want to mess it up. That, it, you know, therein is the issue, isn't it? We want to fix something, but we're afraid to mess it up. That's why this year is like, just do it. Doesn't matter what it is, just do it. Okay, I'm just dampening my brush. Thank you. Push it into that a little bit more, some more blue. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna leave it right there just because I'm happy. <laughs> so. Yay! All right, we're going to do a card, and then um, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Oh, I do want to shout out Bold Dreamer 321, Sherry Carr, and Lynn the Crazy Crafter. I appreciate you so much for subscribing, you guys. Such a blessing. All right, you guys pick it. <laughs> Which one is it? Which one? <laughs> Post the part where I say, I love you, Grant. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's try this one. <laughs> you crack me up. You remind me of my brother, Ed, the one that does the music in the way that you're so quick with you. <laughs> you and Thomas both. <laughs> All right. Resilient. Oh, my gosh. May your soul weather the storms. I just speak that to everyone here, you know, in our words, we have power, life or death, bless or curse, right? We know that because verbal abuse is <laughs> a horrible thing on people. So if it is horrible, it can also be wonderful if not verbal abuse, but the spoken word that's encouraging. See you guys, be resilient today. <laughs> I love that. That's beautiful. Yep, we're all going to weather the storms. And I mean, how appropriate for right now, right? We've been watching those poor people going through it. And um, Cherokee, all the people in Cherokee that we know are, are good. They, you know, they did good. <laughs> We've got some people trying to get back to Cherokee. Um, but she was just out and about visiting in a different state. So she's having to deal with trying to travel through those states. 
So if anybody's, you know, traveling or, you know, just be safe because you just never know. And there's no communication in a lot of those areas. So praying for everybody that everyone will be resilient and weather all of these storms and we will do it together. All right, you guys have a beautiful day. I love you all. Bye.